Hello guys, how's it going? Oh, today we're gonna try out the new DX11 feature in VMware Workstation Pro 16, see how it goes. So, uh, let's get into the VM. As you can see, it's the SVGI driver, 3D graphics adapter, DX11, and uh, four gigabytes of VRAM. I tried eight, but apparently you can only dedicate eight if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, which if you have over 16, I have just 16. So I cannot have the full eight gigabytes of VRAM, but it's not like we need that much either way, you know? So let's head uh, back to the game itself, which I want to try out. Actually, let's restart it. And let's see how that works. I'm not sure if it's gonna run well or not. It's gonna be the first time. The first shot at playing a game. Not sure if it's gonna work or not, but um, I think it will. It might as well. So options, we have, as you can see, medium settings i will try higher settings later on if it runs so 1080p window mode is off something how can i show fps does it have an option to show fps i wonder mm. doesn't doesn't seem like it does oh uh, let's start a new save game. New farmer. Yeah, let's just go because I want to have equipment and stuff. Yeah, that works. I don't really want to bother. I just want to see how it runs. And see if it could be an actual alternative. Like if you're running Linux and it could like run windows within it and play your games without the need to actual do actually dual boot you know it's like for most games don't actually need that much ram so it could be just fine with eight if you have 16 you know system or 32 and dedicate 16 to the vm itself which is plenty for most games not everything of course but you know but i wonder how the performance scales though that's that's gonna be the main point of this video actually I want to see how much it differs from running it natively bare metal which I assume it's gonna be like a 50% difference I'm just assuming I'm not really sure I haven't tried myself but I mean it seems reasonable because like on bare metal, I, I tried this game before, it runs 1080p maxed out, all ultra settings, 50% GPU usage locked at 60Hz. So essentially I could get like 120 FPS, maybe more, a full load. Now we're about to see how it copes up, medium settings, locked at 60, because this game, as far as I know, runs at 60. You gotta like, there's a special command that you gotta put in to unlock more than that but i i don't think i'm gonna be uh achieving anywhere near 60 for some reason because i was trying it on linux yesterday opengl and it didn't run at all i'm not sure if 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 it could be a driver issue uh, open vm tools actually issue because on windows like right after i installed it and tried to run the game it said it didn't have dx11 support even though it said the uh vmware pro would support dx11 so i wondered why the hell is it not working it should work and then after some research i realized that the vmware tools that come with the software are out of date so you gotta download it from the website to make it work which i find uh i'm uh, not very amusing i would say but it is what it is, right? So you gotta go to the website, download the new tools, and then drag it into the VM and install, and then you can finally have the X11. I'm not sure why that hasn't been addressed yet, but it is what it is. And after you update the tools, you get the X11. Oh my God. Welcome to Farming Sim. Would you like to start? No. Is it actually running? 
Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it is bad. It's not, I mean, actually, yo, for medium settings, that is running well enough. Look at that. Stutters a little bit, but then again, it's running out of a network drive. It's not even like a SATA connection or anything. It's, uh, it's running off um, a shared drive over Wi-Fi, over 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And uh, the VM and the game itself are running on Wi-Fi. And somehow it just works. I mean, is it perfect? No, but holy cow, look at that. The fact that I can game in a VM and it just works. Mouse support straight on the box. I didn't need to do anything. Like, because yesterday I was trying it on Linux and the mouse was all over the place. The cursor, I could barely click on stuff. And now I can just hop in and it just works like that. Not a lot of effort. Um, it's a little sluggish at times, but then again, that's because I'm not running from a proper hard drive. I mean, I, I am running from a drive, but it's not and the PC itself it's over the network so that could be slowing things down even so it's playable uh, I just got to figure out how to display the frames do I need to install fraps maybe I need fraps for that which is a shame also I want to see actually I really want to see the figures usage figures so it's using 22% of the card right now is it passing through i wonder let's see GP cpu 27 percent ram is pegging as uh as usual but yeah as you can see apparently it's passing through just fine that means i could i could increase the graphics settings does it actually pass through like is it paired the performance now i'm wondering could I actually? Um, let's see. Back to the game itself. Let's. Uh, I'm install Fraps, and also change the graphics because I want ultra settings. Let's save the game first, and then quit, which doesn't really quit. It just takes you back, like so. Uh, I don't want music. No, please. No, 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 no. There. Okay. So let's go. It doesn't let me change it. What the hell? Oh, it does. It's just slow. So we have high and nothing above that. Oh, there's very high. It's just very slow. <laughs> Whenever you switch between the settings, you can see it sort of dies a little bit, but it's fine. Apply. And then the game's going to close and reopen, which I find. <laughs> Very strange, but that's a farming sim thing ever has ever been like that. Always the same thing. Apply the settings, game closes, you change the rest, the game restarts. Which, oh god, takes a little bit of time, but then again, you know, it's not something they're going to be, do, be doing ever so often. So I need a way to monitor the frames. I've been wondering how do I do that. Fraps, 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 fraps. Probably the only way. The only reasonable way here. So, oh yes, here we go. Fraps, 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 fraps. Seems to be the only, only way to do it. Hold up. Oh, 60 hertz. I saw, I saw 32 hertz of a bra. What? Fraps. Show FPS, record video game movies. I just want to show FPS, if possible, please. Oh, yes. Download. Fraps. It's gonna be really quick, I hope. Open when done, and then we just yes. 
in real time video capture benchmarking okay i agree i agree yes just install it already i don't care there you go that was quick oh then we can just close it and uh where the hell is fraps there you are did i enable fps benchmark settings i want to show Overlay hotkey F12, benchmark settings FPS, hide overlay. No, I don't want to hide overlay. So we have our frames about to show up for us. There you go. So we have the frame rate up there. We load up the save game. Ultra settings now. Let's see how that scales. Because, uh, like I said before, on bare metal, I can get 60 FPS and it just uses like 50% of the card. And it's 60 locked basically but then again let's see how it works within a controlled environment in a vm with not, not uh, nowhere as much ram and uh nowhere as much power either because you know card is cut in half vram wise due to my ram limitations can't wait after it's used so that i can make a 16 gigs vram machine and then try and tackle something like flight sim that wouldn't work i bet but it would be fun to see a vm trying to run and uh okay it is not half bad so we're getting 55 56 which for a vm is quite impressive i mean it's ultra settings i mean it's very high it doesn't really have ultra per se but we're running you know anti-aliasing and all the bells and whistles and stuff that people like and it's looking amazing stuttering a lot then again you know it's a network drive so it's uh understandable but holy cow almost 60 frames playable it's totally playable it doesn't really stutter that much you could lock at 30 hertz if you wish so yeah if you have a linux machine and you want to play on windows and you don't want to dual boot or anything it could just you know uh run workstation and windows but in it and there you go you could safely game i mean look at that it's just fully playable i mean let's get in here drive around a little bit see how, how to copes up oh well yeah as you can see still pretty okay i mean it's not native performance of course you cannot expect you get native performance but that's acceptable enough i mean i assume if i were running it like windows from my disk instead of a network drive it would be running much better but the sole fact that we can like max out a game in a vm and it's working just fine i mean it picked up the mouse input very well no issues whatsoever which is something i uh, had issues before back in the day with old uh, old, old versions of workstation that would be a pain in the ass to get working sometimes it would just you know it would be hard to click on stuff but now it just picks up just fine just like that and uh, now I want to see the performance figures again on how uh, my card is coping up so the load hasn't really changed that much 33 percent 55 degrees so the card's just vibing bro it could go further than that i mean i think the cpu i mean because the it's not running the base clock's not running at four it's running a trigger hertz so it could be the limiting factor here and not the um not the card itself because as you can see it's just vibing it's actually just vibing it doesn't really mind the load at all and um as you can see cpu is also vibing so it's not that and then i went to the game you see there is a little bit of stirring but it's fair enough all things considered like look at that it's using half of the ram it doesn't show the gpu because i don't know why actually but i mean <laughs> As you can see, the clock's uh, locked at the base clock, so it doesn't really operate at 4 gigahertz like the actual CPU, but 
fair enough. I mean, it's running all the 16 treads, eight cores, which is impressive to say the very least. Now we can just game in a VM like that. No problem whatsoever. I mean, if farming sim runs, which uh, it's, it's actually a mess when it comes to how optimized it is, it has tiny issues. It doesn't run uh, very well anywhere. I mean, of course, it's not a demanding game per se, but once you add mods and stuff, the frames do misbehave a little bit. Yeah, this is just playable. Totally, totally playable. And the fact that we're doing this from a VM is even more impressive. Now, I want to try out gaming on Linux. That's what I really want to do. So I, I tried yesterday, it didn't work, but I was not running the new VM tools. So there's that. VMware tools I was running were the stock ones that came with VMware 16. So maybe that's the problem. Because as you can see, as, a, as I told you guys before, uh, the VM tools for um, Windows 10 didn't have DX11 at all. It was DX10, so I could not even launch the game at all. And then after I finally got my hands on updated VMR tools from the website, I could finally get DX11 and bingo, it works just fine. I'm playing like, perfectly, no issues whatsoever. I bet I could even run like Grand Theft Auto 5 just fine, maybe even maxed out if I wish. So it's passing through very well. Performance, it's a little off from the actual figures, but for very high, <laughs> That's not shabby at all. VM gaming, boys. I mean, that pro pro probably means I could like even play CSGO, maybe. They they probably don't let you launch it though, because it, it will like detect that it's a VM. I assume Valve would not like you playing your games on a virtual machine. But for most games, you know, you just I can just go for it and play just fine. And it's less of a hassle than having a dual boot setup, that's for sure. So you can just, you know, launch your workstation, bring Windows up, and bingo, there you go. Play and enjoy. And, wow. As you can see, it doesn't stutter that much. It's completely playable. Very impressed. I didn't expect it to run that well. I knew it would run. But I had no idea it would run that well. So that's quite a milestone, I gotta say. Workstation guys, the VMware guys, they did something impressive here. That's the future of virtual machines. Right there. We're witnessing such a step forward in uh, when it comes to virtualizing graphics processing and stuff holy cow impressive well the end of video is basically that just uh, i just wanted to try out the x11 see how it copes up with games and as you can see it does that very well maxed out gpu just vibing there i could if i wanted to i could run like double uh, two instances running windows 10 running farming sim and it would buff would be running at 50 ish frames a second which is cool i mean if i had more than one screen i could play at the same time play mp with myself because i have it on steam and on, on epic game so i could technically play with myself and that's so cool holy cow when you're so alone that you play mp games with yourself tears pain but yeah that's about it Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not much, but it's honest work. So, <laughs> y'all have a nice day. Take care, stay safe, wear masks, and adios.